stabbed to death over the weekend. You've seen James Lathlin before, just last month on the Evening News, in fact. He was speaking to a group of Aboriginal students from northern Manitoba about staying clean and staying out of gangs. As Global's Jamie Dahl reports tonight, Nathlin believes some of his former gang associates don't like the message that he's been spreading. Yeah, down here a couple, here twice, and in the back once. His stomach sliced open by a kitchen knife. The pain is etched on his face. I'm, uh... James Lathlin recalls the night he thought would be his last. You know, they were chopping at me with knives like a horror movie, like watching a horror movie. The former gang member turned youth worker was stabbed numerous times early Saturday morning outside his West Broadway home. He's still trying to figure out why, but fears it may have something to do with his work. And I said to him, don't do this. I got two kids. I help out kids, man. Come on, I used to be just like you. I'm making a change, man. I'm contributing to our people. And that's what stopped him from stabbing me. I think from really giving me the last cut to for me to die. The 29-year-old is a rapper and author. He travels around the province speaking to kids about staying away from drugs and gangs. He says the near-death experience has motivated him even more to continue his mission. It's just made me stronger because my stomach was hanging out on the floor and God obviously wanted me to be here again. Police have arrested two teenagers. They're still looking for more suspects. As the investigation continues, James Lathlin will recuperate in hospital. But it could be a while yet before he's physically able to return to his work. For Global News, this is Jamie Dahl reporting. All right, Jamie, you may have seen them marching downtown today. Staying clean, but his focus suddenly shifted to trying to stay alive. The story tonight.